Hello, friends, and welcome back to some more Spyro. Enter the Dragonfly. I'm Seth of the Six LPs, and if the last, if the, if the last episode, if the last episode exists, then chances are this is the episode after it. Nah, in the last episode, we got a few dragonflies from one of the most hellish. Well, it wasn't that hellish, but I overacted. And basically, after overacting and such, I have decided it's the worst place in the game. Well, now that we're done that, we can continue on with the utter serenity that is to be on Cloud 9. Yeah. Like, I like the rest of this level. I just had bad memories of that one, I guess. Ah, Cupid! Must not shoot me! Hey, that, that's, that's pretty... That's pretty fitting, considering I am recording this on Valentine's Day. Although, you guys will be seeing it a day later. Uh, whoa, 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 okay. I almost fell there. I will not let the controls get the best of me! Anyways, why am I breaking these pots? I'm not a pothead, although I would be if I skewered the pots with my head, like I was about to do. So let's just keep heading over here. I don't see anything else of interest other than killing... I, I don't know why I call them cupids. I'm don't. I'm pretty sure they don't actually shoot hard arrows, or they might. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Hey, you. You shoot... Nope, your arrows are just tipped with red, so close enough. Anywho, so you can head down in here, but nothing but gems in here, and floating bottle. Maybe one of them has a message, you know, it's gonna be like, Hey Mario, I baked a cake and you can only have it if you come save me. This is the most terrible girl voice ever and the most terrible Princess Peach. Yes, this is what Princess Peach's voice acting will sound like in the next game. You can hate me later. Nah, but yeah, that, that, that'd be the wrong game even if it was, so I, I'd be kind of creeped out. So let's just not open the bottles and just save ourselves the creeped outness of having a crossover from the Mario series, shall we? Moving on, uh, there's no dragonflies here? Seriously, man? We're running low on dragonflies! Yeah, this is totally gonna be another one of those episodes where no progress is made. If I remember correctly, though, there's a dragonfly somewhere around here. Uh, what does this guy have to say? Hello there, Mr. Yanni. That's what I'm calling you. I don't care what your name is. That thief has stolen my magic wand, and I need it to activate the swirly to the next machine. Can you get it back for me? Well, now that the dialog box tells me that his name is Thimble, I guess I kind of- No, no, no! You're Mr. Yanni. I, I, I decided that. As for you, Mr. Yanni, I don't know. I probably won't get your wand back, but who knows what will happen. If it's just laying around like most of the runes in this game, then I guess I might as well. And, huh. So, anywho, what is going on around here? We've got- Oh, Rainbow Road! Oh, crap! Hey, hey, look at you! Ha ha! I want your money! Give me your money! I want your money! I shall crash into you! Yeah, this guy's just slightly slower than you, huh? Oh. Uh, okay. I wanted money, but I guess a magic wand's good too. Hey, look, it did just kind of fall on our path. Will you give me money if I give you a magic wand? Or will you use that magic wand to make magic money appear? Only time will tell. Thanks, Spyro! Now I can power up the swirly! Or you can power up the swirly, because, you know, it, the, the powering up the swirly, that was the most important part. Nothing else matters other than powering up the swirly. You know, paying your future overlord? No, that's just for his services, that is. Anywho, uh, where is... The, where'd it go? There was a dragonfly here a second ago. Speared! Where'd my dragonfly go? It didn't fall off. I didn't know dragonflies could do that. Okay, like, I'm actually genuinely, genuinely surprised here. It's not supposed to fall off. I'm pretty sure dragonflies can't do that. Like, y you guys can fly. How do you even manage to fall? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, ow. Oh. Okay, okay, so... <laughs> what is the world coming to? First, dragonflies are falling, and then Spyro's flying. Well, I guess Spyro flying has been done before, but I mean, suspended animation in thin air? I don't think so. Jeez, what the heck's going on here? Uh, okay, well, hopefully Mr. Dragonfly of breaking the laws of physics will turn up. Oh, hey, there he is. See, he broke the laws of physics and teleported. Man, you, 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 you gotta learn to abide by the laws of physics. The laws are there for the good of the people. And, and right now I command you by law to come back here, darn it. Uh, or make me go all the way back to you. 
I, I was not looking forward to finding one of these pesky ones. Your belligerence is duly noted, and you will be greatly punished once I acquire you as a slave. Okay, I almost fell there. Jeez, I, I say this guy, this, this dragonfly probably stole the magic wand originally and used it to give him superpowers. This is superfly, man. Anywho, yeah, because, you know, he was using telepathic energy of some type to, you know, make me almost fall there. Ah, oh, get it! In case it's not obvious, that dragonfly irritates me. Okay, finally got him. Caught him by surprise, I guess. He wasn't expecting that. Well, on the bright side, now we have Superfly in our collection of slaves, so if we ever have some intense manual labor, you know, he's probably, like, part ant, and he can, like, lift 20 times his weight or whatever. Anyways, let's continue on. Jin continue. I love when I don't know how to talk. Um, darn it, I had to be up there! Apparently I was too fixated on Superfly there to remember what my ultimate goal is. Well, my ultimate goal, I guess, is Dragon Realm Domination. But, you, you know, there's also the little side project of saving these guys' hourglasses by shooting death lasers into it. Little does he know, instead of saving it, we are actually, you know, doing what death lasers do. I don't know. I, I just feel like calling these death lasers, because looking at the animation, that's really what it reminds me of. Just, they're just like beams of light. I guess they could be magical beams of making the hourglass tip over, you know, but whatever. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe the hourglass is death laser resistant and the death lasers are just kind of like pushing it so that it'll tip over and finally order shall be restored and the clock shall run even though the... Hello there, buddy. How's it going? Oops. Wow, the thunder cloud is weak to thunder. Who would have thought? Anywho, now that we've done that, we can continue on here, I suppose. See what's going on in here. I know what's going on in here. Stars! I'm gonna be a star if I break these stars. Cause you know, killing stars makes you a star. Yeah, that's that's how that's how it would no, that's not how it works. Don't I, I I you did not hear that from me anyways, so if there's any star killing going on, I'm not the culprit. Uh that is actually really cool. Just a second, wait for that. Oh, why'd you... Yeah, see, he's a cloud face. Or he was, anyways. You you know that was what was going on. Anywho, well... That, that thing tried to redirect me. That was not cool. It tried to redirect me to my doom. I can take out two birds with one stone by shooting you with lightning. I don't know. I, I am now officially only going to kill those lightning clouds with lightning, even though... I believe you're supposed to kill them with something else. I'm not sure. Maybe fire... I doubt you could kill them with water, because, you know... Yeah, killing water vapors with water. Perfect sense. Uh, woo, we got some craziness going on around here. Wanna check it out? Uh, don't, don't lightning-y, don't lightning-y me yet. Like, I lightning-y, you lightning-y, he she me lightning -ies. Yeah. He she me wumbo. I don't know, that's always what I think about when I think of... Ten verbs and stuff like that. Yes, I think of horrible Spongebob episodes when I think of verbs. Yeah, that's... I must be great in English class. Heading up here, let's see what's going on. Uh, we've got a... Ooh, another one of these things. We need to activate these things. Yeah, activate it with fire. Way to go! Burn down the one thing that will save the poor, drunk... Di drunk dinosaurs, because, you know, bears look like dinosaurs. I think I'm the one who's a bit too drunk. Anywho... Now that that's done, uh, we'll see. Uh, oh, oh, I see you. Don't think that you can unsee, unsee yourself. Yeah, he unsees himself because, you know, you can do that. You can, don't, no, 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 no. I'll be right back. For a place you'd think to be heavenly, such as Cloud Nine, I swear, these dragonflies are really annoying. I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's only heaven for dragonflies, you know, and... Well, as a dictator, I suppose we should technically be in hell, so this place probably doesn't like us. Anywho, at least he didn't run. She, I guess. Sylvia. Unless it's a he who's named Sylvia. I don't know if that's a common thing, but whatever. And I guess we will end off the video here, on top of a pillar? Sure, because I said so.
In the next episode, we will stop staring at this cloud and go make more pro- You know what? My, my, my OCD-ishness. Dicks that I should be right in the middle of the pillar. Yeah, there we go. And staring at the hourglass? Maybe. Uh, okay, apparently. Spyro can't turn his head farther than that. Oh, realisticness in video games. I will see you guys next time when we go and get some more dragonflies in Cloud 9. Nine.